Hi, I'm Joseph Hickerson, pit manager at a local casino. And on behalf of Expert Village, I am going to give the introduction on how to play casino style craps. In this clip, we're going to discuss the don't pass bar. The don't pass bar, which is located right beside the pass line, is just the opposite of what the pass line bet does. You recall, a 7-Eleven on a come out roll on a pass line wins. So therefore, a 7-Eleven on the don't pass on a come out roll will lose. As well as the craps, 2, 3, or 12 on a come out, which will lose on a pass line, will now win if you're betting on the don't pass. The pass line is where you're betting with the shooter against the house. Your don't bar, being just the opposite, means you're betting with the house and against the shooter. The don't pass bar, which is located right beside the pass line. Now the don't pass is just the opposite of what the pass line bet is. Remember, on the 7-Eleven, on a pass line, on a come out roll, your bet would win. So therefore, a 7-Eleven on the come out roll on the don't pass bar, that bet is going to lose. The craps, 2, 3, or 12 on a pass line on the come out roll, is of course going to lose. So therefore, a 2, 3, or 12 on a come out roll on the don't pass bar is going to win. The pass line, you're betting with the shooter and against the house. The don't pass bar being just the opposite means that you're betting with the house and against the shooter. So let's reiterate one more time. The don't pass bar means just the opposite of what the pass line bar does. The pass line, again, wins on 7-Eleven and loses on 2, 3, and 12. The don't pass bar loses on 7-Eleven but wins on 2, 3, and 12. A bet on the don't pass bar will stay there until the shooter either makes his point that he established, in which case the don't pass bar bet will lose, or the shooter sevens out, in which case on the don't pass bar you'll win. 